Sri Lanka made 137 for nine. 13 runs required. There was another game, Bish, when 13 runs was required in the last last over. Sri Lanka and West Indies in Trinidad. You remember that? I think Sri Lanka did well to lose that match thanks to Shipmarine Chandapal's six off the last ball ball by Chaminda Bass. It was 87 for six when we sat in this chair, Rano. I remember saying that uh, this game is unpredictable. What is the length? Oh, he's gotten away with that. He's all length. Folks, listen to this. The way run over the game has changed. Look at the tension. Fifteen years ago, a guy would run up now and just look to bowl only Yorkers. Batsmen would then step themselves for the predictability of it. Now they've got to keep more options open as a batter because bowlers look now to change the length and change the pace more often instead of consistent Yorkers. Tension all around. Twelve required or five. That's big, that's big, that's big, that's six of them. That's six of them. Six required off four. Cloud Alam can he deliver all the way today? You can see the, the tension, the nerves in uh, Luan Kulasekra. He's got to bowl four more deliveries. Look what Alam has done. 22 runs of seven deliveries, including three sixers, three big sixers. That's the third one of that last delivery from Kulasekra, right into the crowd. Can he do it again? He will aim for the leg side, no doubt about it. here from Kulasekara and a real pressure can mount good try good strike straight Shoaib Malik has uh, taken the scores level Pakistan looked dead and out of the water at one stage they're alive again. Well, well, well. 13 required in the last over. And Pakistan have got 12 of them. They need one more of two deliveries. Definitely the money is on them. Big smile on the face of Shoaib Akka. He's there with his pads on. Most likely he may not need to go out there. Shoy Malik, together with Alam, have turned it around for Pakistan. What an innings by Alam, 23 of 8. Malik, 38 of 36. Game, set and match. What an innings by Shoy Malik. They were in deep trouble, but Pakistan's captain has held his head. He's a dangerous campaigner. This partnership between Malik and Alam, who's played in no small way his part, 23 of 8 deliveries, 50 runs of 24 deliveries, has uh, snatched it out of the grasp of the Sri Lankans. Pakistan winning by uh, three wickets and one delivery to spare. Yes, and what scenes here at the Maple Leaf Ground in Toronto? There's uh, no security, unlike in other major test venues. There would have been plenty of security taking those spectators away. But here they are, able to celebrate. They were certainly with their tails within, their, within the, between their legs. But uh, Malik and 
Alam have resurrected them. And Pakistan have reached the target and also got the highest score so far in this tournament. Moved up to 141 for seven and one with a ball to spare. Very good boost for them. A very good boost for them. And remember this, folks. Remember the situation of the game at the end of the 15th over. Jeff Lawson, well, I suppose relief more than anything else because his team looked dead and gone after 15 overs. But uh, this is the nature of 2020 cricket. We've seen situations like that turned around and we've seen it here again today. Good strikes from Malik and Alan. Impressive hitting at the end of the innings. If you don't get the fundamentals of bowling right, this game can turn around, and it has today. What scenes here at this ground? Very big crowd turned out to watch this match. So many came in in the afternoon, almost a full house, and they've been treated uh, to some excellent cricket, two superb games of 2020 cricket. Uh, it has been a great advertisement for 2020 cricket often criticized so much talk about that uh, form of the game but today we've seen two very good games of cricket Maruf two wickets at the top we run the four at the bottom they were the main wicket takers for Sri Lanka but they couldn't do enough 141 for seven of 19.5 overs and the match summary this Al Barak T20 tournament, the fourth game, Pakistan winning, chasing that 137 for nine and getting up to 141 for seven and winning by three wickets. Now let's go and join Alistair Campbell. All right, thank you very much. I've got uh, Kaushalya Wiramatna here. Kaushalya, what a 